Welcome back, eSim Studios. Thank you for joining us today. We have a very special video. This is an app review, right? Now, the app developers did not pay this, not a paid endorsement, sponsorship, anything of the sort. This is simply, I found an app, I've been using it, and I'm actually starting to really, really, really like it. And I think it can help you out too. Now, our eSim Studios app reviews typically have been a collection of my favorite apps that I use on a daily basis. So not only do I present to you how these apps and how they work, but they're very useful, right? Regardless, whether it's a, um, a radar app, what else did we do? Um, a wake lock app, all sorts of different types of applications. Well, I've been using this app basically for about a week and it's freaking awesome because we're talking about file sharing. Now, we'll jump into it. Hang on. I am not an Apple user, iOS user, iPhone user, MacBook user, iPad, all that stuff. No. I stick to Android. I stick to Windows. That's what I know best, and that's what I use. Now, I don't know if this is a if you can use this on a iOS, but I do know it's for Android. I do know it's for Windows. So file sharing. We all know that Samsung and Google merged their file sharing into QuickShare. Now, I don't like QuickShare. I thought I was going to love it when I first heard the announcement. Great. You know what I'm saying? Awesome. I use QuickShare on my Samsung devices. It's the best file sharing between two Samsung devices. But what if you have a Samsung phone and a HP computer? What if you have a OnePlus phone? and a mini PC, right? The Minus 4 mini PC. QuickShare, now between Samsung, Samsung's great, as I mentioned. Since releasing QuickShare on Windows, it gobbles up 20 gigs of RAM. I have no idea why. I have 32 on my, on my mini PC that I'm using right now and 32 on my laptop. QuickShare uses, when I activate QuickShare, 97% of my RAM is used up. So I stopped using QuickShare. Thank God Intel saved the day. So Intel Unison. Intel Unison is the app we are reviewing. I'm sorry for the long intro, but Lord have mercy. Intel Unison has been a breath of fresh air. So Intel, folks at Intel, thank you very much. Let's see here. You can get this on the app stores of Windows and Android. So check this out. Intel Unison. So let's look at this and then I'll show you the how to pair it, how to all of its capabilities, how to uh, download it on your PC I'm doing right now. We'll do the phone in a second and then I'll show, open it up and we'll show, show you what it's about, right? So unlock your connected world and multi-device experience to enjoy the freedom to work across operating systems seamlessly. So here are some of the photos. You get the point, right? File sharing, it's pretty self-explanatory. It is what it is. You see one file sharing app, essentially you've seen them all. It just depends on how well they work, right? And how much RAM this takes up. So we will not only open this up, test it out. I'm gonna show you, we'll go into task manager and we'll see how much RAM it uses. Uh, and at the very end, I don't want it to crash my stream because I think that was the issue last time on my stream crashing. I had quick share open, so stupid. So there you go. I went ahead and downloaded it and we'll open it up. But I wanted to show you it is available on the Play Store. So if you open up your Chrome browser and you go to right here, go to this on your phone. I'm going to link both in the description. So whether you're watching this on your phone, you link right to the Intel app, uh, excuse me, the Google Play Store, the Intel app, uh, Unison app. Or if you're watching this on your computer, I'm going to put a link for the Windows app to the windows store right so no funny business links to the app so then this is the android app this is what you'll see on your phone same pictures same idea right so enhanced text message capability capabilities on pc i haven't used that yet maybe we'll try it out what does it say now featuring better organization of message history and group conversations paste your release notes for english us here whatever <laughs> Got some pretty good scores. I have not rated it yet, but I certainly will. Let's give it a try. Actually, I'm really, really enjoying this. So 
Let's, so it's installed on my phone already. So I already have it installed on my phone. Let's go through the pairing process. Let me open this up on the PC and we will give it a try. So here is the phone, Intel Unison. We're gonna open this up. Now we're also gonna open this up on the PC, right? So let's open this up on the PC. Accept and continue, allow, add your phone. QR code, scan QR code, asking for the code. Yes, this is the code. Pairing successful. So here's everything you can do, right? What you can do is transfer files. So that's what I use it for the most. Manage photos, it will gain access. You can give it permissions. Actually, you know what? Let's look at permissions right now while we're talking about it. Permissions, camera, contacts, notifications, photos, videos, SMS, nearby devices, we will allow that. Phone, go ahead. Okay, so you got all the permissions right there. Let's jump back into it. Let's go into transfer files. One plus 12. And this would be from your PC to anyone else or to your phone. Receive files, you can request a file to be sent to you. Now, I believe this works anybody on a network. So if you got all your devices connected to a Wi-Fi network, this would work, send files over Wi-Fi. Um, I believe it uses Wi-Fi. Uh, I don't think it would use Bluetooth. Uh, I guess we could find out. Let's go into the settings. So you can edit the name, right, of your whoops, of your um, device. Now, one plus 12 shows your connected devices here. You can also add a tablet. Allow Intel Unison to run in the background. I definitely want that. Uh, let's go dark mode. That looks dope. Okay, and as you can tell down here, it's changed to Intel Unison. So notifications, notifications, show pop-ups, pop-up sound, full content or private uh let's see app notifications here's all the apps that's on your connected device message and calls call notification support full call support incoming sound mms size limit do you want to limit the size for mms you can compress the multimedia message uh mark text message as read Warn before opening links from unknown senders. Very nice. Sweet. As you can tell, notifications on the left. Settings we've already looked at. Downloads. You can go to your downloads folder. Um, very good. So up here on the top left, it's... Ooh, my, only, my phone's only got 7% left. Uh, you can add your tablet, as I mentioned, manage your devices, and also you can put on do not disturb for 30 minutes, one hour, two hours, four hours, eight hours, or custom time. So let's go ahead and go to file transfer. Now let's do this. Let's jump on the phone and let's transfer something. Boom. Just like that. All right. The photo right here. You can see it in the, uh, Folder right there, transfer complete. Now, what about a video? So if you have a video, right? How big is this? 193 megabytes. So let's share that. So you can go to photo, hit share, and then simply search for Intel Unison in the share section. Where are we at? Right there, you see it? Now again, it was 193 megabytes. And you can tell on the screen right here at the bottom, how fast is sending it so if that's sending a 193 megabyte file in roughly 10 seconds that means a one gigabyte file would essentially take probably 10 seconds right something like that i don't know it depends on how fast your network is if you have a super fast and strong network meaning wi-fi that's how mine set up over a network should move files relatively fast right if you have a shitty network connection and or slow network connection probably going to take a little longer oh you can send a link to somebody or a qr code i'm assuming it'll send it to somebody they'll need to download intel unison and then as soon as they link their device it will share it 
via their connection. I guess you can tell Link expires in roughly 10 minutes they give them. Uh, let's see here. Let's cancel that. Receive files. Now, let's see how much RAM it's using. Intel Unison, 580 megabytes. 580. Man, that's nothing. Uh, I'll leave this on all day in the background. Makes for file sharing so easy, especially for me shooting videos. I need, oh, there's a new beat I want to put on in the background. Let me transfer it. Oh, I need to take a picture. I need to make a thumbnail, transfer it. So I've been loving this. So Intel, thank you very, very much. This is an awesome application. I could not wait to make this video. Um, and I hope all of you out there watching this uh, download it and give it a try. I think everybody will like it. Um, again, this is probably one of the better file sharing um, apps that I've come across. And that's an issue for Android and or Windows users is that file sharing, right? iOS, um, I don't often envy iOS users. In fact, well save that for another video but i'm not an apple user right but one thing i am envious of is their file sharing capabilities it is so easy well guess what download intel unison on any android device you have download it on any windows pc you have and enjoy it's taylor bell for eSIM studios hit me up in the comments if you have any questions i'm also going to post in the video description links for everything you need to get going Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Peace.